I'm Pastor Salem, and I want to welcome you to the Christian Worship Hour. And uh, another week has gone by. Here we are, and all over the world we're going to gather together to worship the wonderful Lord Jesus Christ. And I've got a really a sermon that I really like to preach. It's entitled, Almost a Christian. And, uh, and it's about a story of a man. He's coming all, and Jesus says, you're almost a Christian. You're almost in the kingdom of God, but you're not in. And so we're going to study about that and look at that. It's just a wonderful story. So I hope that you'll call your friends and join us and pray for the service, and we'll worship the Lord together. Well, we're reading from Mark chapter 12. If you have your Bibles, you want to turn to that. I know that some of you uh, get dressed all dressed up, and you get your Bibles, and you sit there to worship. And some, uh, in some places, several of you get together, and that's your church service. And so you get Mark chapter 12, and we're going to start with verse 28. <clears throat> and in this passage, Jesus is preaching at the temple, and, uh, and there are the Sadducees and Pharisees and scribes and people and all, and uh, he's preaching about uh, loving God and putting God first and our neighbor second. And uh, then he comes to the, and then he's a, uh, a scribe comes and uh, talks to him about this matter. And Jesus tells him, you're almost in the kingdom. You're almost saved. And so the 28th verse. And one of the scribes came and having heard them reasoning together and perceiving that he had answered them well, asked him, which is the first commandment of all? And Jesus answered him, The first of all the commandments is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy mind, with all thy strength. This is the first commandment. The second is like, namely this, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. There is none other commandment greater than these. And the scribe said unto him, Well, Master, thou hast said the truth, for there is one God, and there is none other but he. And to love him with all the heart, and with all the understanding, and with all the soul, and with all the strength, and to love his neighbor as himself is more than all whole burnt offerings and sacrifices. And then listen to this last verse. And when Jesus saw that he answered discreetly, he said unto him, Thou art not far from the kingdom of God. No man after that durst ask him any questions. And so we're going to pray. And in our prayer, you know, we always pray for the persecuted church. And we're praying for the church in Tunisia today. So, Heavenly Father, we come to the throne of grace. You've invited us to do that. You've told us that we come to the very throne of God and present our petitions and give our praise and give our thanks and talk to you. What a wonderful, wonderful Savior and what a wonderful God. And so now today we're praying that you'll help us, that, there, that, that, that if there are some, Lord, they're so close to you, they all almost to open their heart to you, but they haven't done that. They don't have an intimate relationship with you. And oh, all over the world, we pray that millions will say that prayer and just pray and ask you to come into their heart and confess their sins to you, Lord, not to man, but to you. And then, Lord, if they promise that they'll follow you, oh, we pray for that to happen. We pray for the young people and the adults and all of the rest, but especially those who are on their way to a Christless eternity, a place of torment that Jesus warned us about, where there's weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth. Oh, God, you snatch them from the fire and bring them to you today in this service. And we'll give you the thanks and praise in Jesus' name. Amen.